Jameson, what do you think is going on with this team right now? It just seems like you guys can't get over the hump consistently. Yeah, it's definitely been tough. Um, you know, we're not not having the results that we want. Um, I think everyone's frustrated, um, but, you know, all we can do is pull for each other, keep believing in ourselves, and, you know, we need to understand that this is the same group that won a bunch of games earlier in the year, um, and we can do it again. So, you know, we just need to get that little spark and get going again. What tells you that, that you guys can find that spark and get it going again? Um, I mean, there's a lot of guys in this room that have been doing it for a while, so um, I find a little bit of comfort in that, just like the veterans in the room. Um, you look around, and you have the Rizzos and the judges. We're getting Giancarlo back at some point. So, I mean, the veterans like that have, that have proven that they can do it for a long time, um, it makes me believe that they'll help pull us out of this. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's still a great team. Um, we're just not playing well right now. the clubhouse that you wouldn't know if you guys had won 15 in a row or lost 15 in a row. Do you guys still have that type of you know perspective in here? Would you know that you guys are skidding right now if you're in here behind the scenes? Um, maybe for like the first 10 minutes after a game and then after that it seems like everyone turns the page pretty well and prepares very professionally and stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely a little bit more difficult to, to have fun whenever things aren't going your way, but you still have to find some joy in, in the season and, um, you know, make showing up fun and, and make it a clubhouse that you want to show up to. Jameson, how difficult is it to go out there and hear, you know, vocally the frustration from fans? You know, because obviously you had a spectacular first half of the season. It's been very tough for you know, <laughs> Yeah, I mean... I understand it. Um, you know, for me personally, the results haven't been, you know, as consistent as I would like. Um, and, you know, I think fans here come to expect that every time we go out on the field, we're putting out a winning product. And, you know, when you don't do your job to contribute to that, um, you know, I understand it. It's not like something that will keep me up at night because I'm already, you know, concerned with how I'm playing and I'm aware of what I'm doing. So, um, you know, I can just show up, keep preparing, and, and try to make the results better. You guys are obviously human beings, and I feel that, that sometimes gets lost in these things. Yeah. How difficult is it to deal with that personally? I mean, you want to perform well for your team. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think it affects everyone a little differently. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'd say most guys throughout all of the major leagues are uh, tough critics on themselves, and, you know, they want to pull themselves out of slumps and stuff more than anyone wants it for them. So, um, you know, me personally, I understand, um, you know, as a fan, what they're what they're going through right now watching us play. Um, and then personally, you know, I go home, and it's not the fans that keep me up at night. It's like my own performance on the field that keeps me up. So, you know, you don't have to tell me that I made a mistake to, to Oscar Hernandez there throwing a fastball down the middle. Like, I totally understand what I did wrong. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I get it, but I'm confident that everyone in here can, can turn it around and finish strong.